Okay, I'm Rudy Beiser and I teach Biology 111 which is Essentials of Cell Biology and Genetics and this course covers a wide range of topics involving cell biology and of course genetics and this is one of the core courses that all biology majors have to take. Now, just to remember, remind you where we left off, in the last lecture we were talking about the benefits of bacteria. Okay, today we're going to look at the main concern about bacteria and that is the fact that bacteria do cause infectious Diseases. Well, we have three core courses, and the first two, 110 and 111, can be taken in either order. And both of those combined will um, prepare the students to take the third core course, which is Biology 211, which is Organismal Biology. And so this is a stepping stone along with 110 for the third core course. And then from that point on, students can then take their upper level electives. And again, bacteria are important agents of infectious diseases, along with viruses. And if you look around the world at the causes of death, what you will see is that infectious diseases is second behind cardiovascular disease as being the leading cause of death in, in humans. And so the lecture the other day covered infectious diseases that are caused by bacteria, and we talked about uh, some of those infectious diseases and the symptoms and why infectious diseases are important uh, for the medical community. And we also covered um, antibiotics, which are the drugs that we use to kill pathogenic bacteria. And we talked about the mechanisms that bacteria can use to resist being killed by those drugs. And those mechanisms are called antibiotic resistance mechanisms. How many of you have been on antibiotics? Okay. The entire class. Again, next time that you're sick and you get prescribed an antibiotic by a doctor, okay, ask them how that antibiotic works. And I bet you most of them will not be able to tell you. Okay. And then, and then you can tell them. How. Exactly. Wouldn't that be something? You're educating the doctors. And that is really why we have a problem with antibiotic resistance. Not so much that an individual bacterium can become resistant, but because they can spread that resistance to other bacteria. And in fact, antibiotic resistance can even spread between bacteria that belong to different species. Um, first of all, the biological information that they're going to need for that serves as a foundation for their upper level courses. Um, but in my opinion, the most important thing are the critical thinking and problem solving skills that they're going to need. And the reason why I emphasize that is because a lot of our majors won't end up working in the biological field and those kinds of skills, critical thinking, problem solving, are skills that can be applied in any field. And that's really why I stress that the most. It's much more important than the biological facts that they're going to get from the course. Both are important, but again, the skills are what's most important. 